So I'll talk a bit about this Gen 5 Haldex pump. Uh, this is the failed one out of the Audi S3. Uh, I've pulled it apart. They aren't, they aren't serviceable. You buy it as a complete assembly and uh, that's all you can do with it. Put a whole new one in. Um, we refer to it as the Haldex pump, uh, but technically it's actually an electric motor uh, coupled to a pump and the electric motor is generally what fails. So uh, the electric motor is spinning all the time. Um, there's permanent magnets in here and the windings here. So the windings are spinning. Uh, that makes it a brush motor and there is uh, two brushes each side of the commutator down in there. Uh, one brush here, one brush there. Those brushes may be half worn or two thirds worn, but they're rubbing on the commutator here and they've actually worn the commutator all the way down. So it's just a perhaps a poor choice of materials by Howdex that the commutator is worn out before the brushes are worn out. Not much you can do about it, not serviceable, uh, but that's generally what causes a Howdex pump to fail is the electric motor, not the pump itself. And they because they're continuously running, um, the the way the filtration is, uh, this is the, the little screen filter that's on the Gen 5 Howdex that replaced a big, large uh, you know, paper filter on the Gen 4. Uh, this has a small, small surface area, so it's easier to block up, but it actually also lets larger particles through as opposed to the Gen 4 Howdex. So I think it puts a bit more strain on the, on the pump, uh, also easier for it to starve the pump and then wear the pump out faster. So the pump will increase it. So if you if the screen gets blocked, as I understand it, uh, partially blocked, uh, then the motor spins faster. The faster the motor spins, the more rotations it does. The more rotations it does, the more it wears out the commutator. So that's really what goes wrong with one of these. Uh, the pump assembly in here, uh, I've taken this apart. Um, there's just a, a little uh, bearing uh, that goes in the in the bottom of it there, and then this is the the spinning part or the rotational part of the positive displacement pump. Uh, so there are these little spring-loaded uh, sort of pistons here and uh, some centrifugal sort of little wing things here that fly out as it, as it spins up to speed. But as far as I know, there's very little that goes wrong with them. Uh, it's, it's the electric motor that, that fails and that's the end of life of these.